Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you exactly how you can download SFML and set it up for Visual Studio Community Edition to be able to develop in C++. Step one, you're going to go to the SFML download page, which I have linked down in the description below. When you're on this page, you're going to click this Download Later Stable Version button. And then you will probably most likely choose the 64-bit version for Visual C++ 17 2022, all right? And once you click that download button, it should start downloading a zip file. And after you have downloaded that zip file and you go into it, you'll see a folder called SFML dash and then the version number. You're going to want to place this file wherever you'd like to on your computer. That's convenient. For me, I have placed it on my C drive, as you can see over here under SFML. So once you paste it here, I do recommend renaming that folder to SFML. All right, it just makes it a little bit easier to include it in future projects, but that is completely up to you. Okay. Once you have done that, you can open up your Visual Studio project. As you can see, I've made a blank project and I have a main.cpp right over here. Now, the first step is if you have never before run this um now the first step is if you have never before run this file i recommend that you just run it once this will generate a debug folder for you which will become useful in a later step all right first what you're going to do is right click your solution go to properties and under C and C++, go to General. And under Additional, Include Directories, you're going to put in the file path of where you put your SFML folder. For me, that is going to be on my C drive. And you're going to want to include the Include folder in that. Again, all of this will be in the description down below for you to copy and paste if you follow the steps exactly as the tutorial. Okay. Then you're going to click apply. Next, you're going to close that C and C++ and you're going to go onto the linker, general, and under this additional library directories, you again will going to copy and paste this, which is in the description. Click apply. It will change depending on if you saved SFMO in a different location. Next, you're going to go to the input and under additional dependencies you're going to click the drop down edit and you're going to copy and paste this which is also in the description down below i'm going to click ok apply ok great and now since we have run our project once and we should have a debug folder we're going to go back to our sfml folder wherever we saved it we're going to go into the bin and we are going to copy all of the contents inside of here, all the DLL files. We can then close our file explorer, right click our solution, open folder in file explorer. And as you can see, we now have x64 since we ran our program once. We're going to open this up. We are going to open the debug file folder. And inside here, we are going to paste all those DLL files. To note, if you have a release version, you will need to do the same step right over here and put the DLL files in the release version. Okay. Once you close this, we are going to just test it with the example code on the SFML website, which we will paste in over here. We're not getting an error for the include, so that's great. We are going to run the debugger. And there is our window, SFML is working. Now, if you want to include anything else from the SFML library, you will just hashtag include SFML, the folder. And over here, you can see all the includes. The most common one would be graphics. And there you go. Now you know how to set up and you can start coding and creating your SFML project.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe and drop a comment down below.